Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I have a Bible journaling process for you using the True North Navigating Life Storms devotional that is the new devotional for the month of September for By the Well for God. And day one was so impactful. I was like, I have to record this one as I'm doing this Bible journaling page. I am Bible journaling in 2 Timothy 3.16 where it declares that the Bible is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching and reproof and for correction and for training in righteousness. And it's talking about the unchanging truth that we have, which is the word of God. And it's a beautiful ode to the word of God. Judy just did an amazing job you know, illustrating how we can use the Bible or the unchanging truth that we have through navigating storms. So I am going to go ahead and work on this page and we'll see how it turns out. Let's dig in. I am starting off by using some parchment paper, use what's in your kitchen guys, <laughs> to put under my page because I know I am going to be using some water and some inks. I got these new Distress Oxide inks and I love the way this page turned out. So I'm using the Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxide ink, sorry about that, and the Pumice Stone. So I go ahead and what you're going to see me do is on the plastic packaging, I am just going to stamp out and then I'm going to add some water from my watercolor brush that holds water. So I go ahead and just add some water on top of that and then I mix up the colors together and now I just start smushing it on the page. This is called the smooshy method. If you know anybody that's popular about this type of um, method, it is my friend Gail from Patio Ponderings. She is the smooshing queen. So I go ahead and dry this off with my dryer and what I then go and do is add some more blue and some more gray. I'm trying to make it look like a stormy night. Um, it does look a little bit crazy right now, but bear with me, it all comes together on, in the end. You'll also see that the verse that I am journaling is already underlined. I did that beforehand because I wanted to make sure that I could see it where it was so I wasn't smooshing on top of the that verse so I can still read it afterwards. A little bit more drying here in between. And then I am moving on to kind of see what I'm gonna do with this lighthouse. I was going in between the lighthouse die cut and the stamp and I went with the lighthouse because I thought it would pop out more. And now you're gonna see me sketch out with a Neo color crayon because I knew it would make a faint line because of this color. I'm gonna sketch out um, just some lines where I could see where I was going to put the light. I have a ring full of watercolor dot cards that I get from Lori's kits every month from By the Well for God. They always come with a watercolor dot card with colors that match the kit for that month. So I have them on a ring. So you'll see me, I actually make that little um, light coming out and the topic or the title that I gave this page was illuminate my eyes and it's from part of a quote that Judy puts here in day one it says beloved let's praise our God he has provided us with that unshakable absolute the very word of God the word of God and the Holy Spirit illuminate our eyes and I love this ode to the Word of God because guys with everything happening right now in this world I know there's a lot of iffy things out there but we have an unchanging truth and that is the Word of God whenever I feel like something shaky whether it's in my life or something I'm listening to or something that I'm overhearing um, I can go to the Word of God and I can find truth that's unchangeable because God is not changing his word or his promises promises don't change throughout time. Um, what the, the truth that is within the word of God doesn't change through seasons or time. It is, oh, it is always the same and it's always pointing us to God, to Jesus, to salvation, to his promises. And that is exactly what we need 
all the time in our lives. So you'll see that I use some more watercolors to kind of create part of the land. And then I also wanted to do like a stormy sea. So you'll see me use the watercolor dot card that came with the kit that has these beautiful blues and grays and darks, like dark colors. And I love that because it's perfect for making stormy seas and skies. And I didn't know which boat to pick. You'll see me kind of messing around and then now I'm gonna pop dot my elements. So the elements that I want, because everything in the background is like watercolor and kind of this um, watery or um, sketchy type of look, I wanna make sure that I am using pop dots on the actual die cuts and the other elements because I want them to pop off the page. I don't want my whole page to be kind of a um, flat surface. So to speak so I go ahead and pop dot these elements I love 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 um, the elements that they picked out this month for true north it's honestly so beautiful so this stamp that I'm using it is the lighthouse stamp and it's the one with that big beautiful lighthouse so I grab the birds off of that stamp and I'm gonna add them to the skies just to make it look a little bit more realistic also the alphas that I used here the small alphas are the true north lowercase and that one came with the kit and the big alpha which I only use the eye for but the big one is the true north uppercase and those are in the by the well for God shop I will link them below for you so I'm just messing around I want to create a cluster at the top and then I remember that I have this beautiful bow that I feel like will match better. So I end up going with that. I yank off some of those pop dots so I can add my compass at the top. I grab this beautiful bow and add it to the top as well. I love this. Lori sent us these bows, so cute and perfect for this kit. Now I'm going to add some journaling to the top and I just want to reference back to the devotional and I want to remind myself and make that statement that the unchanging truth in my life that I can rely on is the word of God and um, illuminate my eyes is actually going to be the ending part to my journaling here. I add that to the top. You'll actually as well see me that I will add a date stamp at the bottom and that is it for this page. That is it darlings. I love how this turned out. I popped up some elements. This background guys, I just got, I've never had distress, distress oxide inks before. And I always see people on our creative team use them like Gail, and Elisa and I'm always like oh I've used the smush method with the regular chalk inks before but never with these makes a whole lot of difference these are really good I got these colors specifically for this kit and I think it did really well and I love this page so I will link everything below thank you so much for joining me if you're new here please like this video subscribe I'd love for you to stick around Leave a comment below with any questions and have a wonderful day. God bless.